What's up everybody, Coach Malik here. Today I'm just gonna answer a question. Me and Steve are working out, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I have a few of your questions here that you guys have been asking me over the last couple weeks. So I'm gonna answer Reese's question today. Yo Malik, what up? I've been noticing that my left pec is a lot stronger than my right. I can do more reps on the left side when I do iso lifts. So this is something that you're dealing with if with one side, one arm, you know, one pec, one shoulder is stronger than the other. This is what I highly recommend doing on pretty much any of those that I just explained. Obviously, you're gonna use your barbells, you're gonna use your machines, you're gonna do things that are gonna incorporate both. But number one, try to eliminate all barbell work. So if you're doing something at the same time, lap pull downs for you know the, the pec, bench press, the machine press, try to only for like two weeks, this is only gonna take like two weeks, not gonna take forever, is to try doing single arm. So if you can find a machine that does single arm, ISO sides, um, dumbbells are great, kettlebells are great. So I'm gonna show you an exercise right now, Reese. Um, and anyone else who you know has an issue with like stronger pack size, is do this exercise for the next two to three weeks instead of bench press, and I guarantee your your, your pecs are going to start eating out. So whatever pec you're weaker with is the one you want to start out with, right? It has the most energy. You want to destroy it, and then your stronger pec can obviously hang, you know, when it's fatigued. So start with the weaker pec. You know, come down, keeping the core tight, control the weight. All the way here. What I like to do is keep my hand kind of on my side. I don't have it hanging. I like it controlled. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press just like I were if I was going to do two hands. So I'm going to two hands. It's the same thing. So I'm pressing it. Two. Keeping the tummy tight. Three. Four. Eight. Just do about eight. And then you come on the other side. And so this would be my stronger pack. And I would do maybe like either the same weight or a little lighter. But pretty much the main thing is you want to push that pack that's weaker. You want to push it, make it more intense, and do a lot more single-sided ISO lifts, whether that be on the machine, the dumbbells, things like that. I think it would also work for you know shoulder press or you know curls or if you have a different or if you have a weaker side other than just the pack. So hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you next question. All right, guys, second question from Griffin Spies. What is the best exercise for inner chest? So inner chest right here, kind of like that cleavage. Um, there's two exercises that I actually personally love, so I'm not going to give one, I'm going to give two. The first one is going to be where you can load it. So if you want to use this in a superset, you could definitely do this in a superset, is a squeeze. So you're going to squeeze two dumbbells together heavy, come down, keeping them touching, and then you're going to press up. So that's going to be your heavy load. And then your second load is gonna be just an easy fly. Now I was gonna do dumbbell flies, you can do dumbbell flies, but I also like the machine fly, because after this one, you're gonna be totally exhausted, and you don't wanna be like tearing your shoulder, so the machine's really nice, you can get a lot of reps. So, first exercise, dumbbell press, as they're touching. Come back, just squeeze them together. And when you're bringing it down, you kind of want to aim the top of this dumbbell to the bottom of your chest slash like your nipple line. You don't want to like way up here, like squeezing your shoulders. You want to have it relaxed. You want to have your shoulder relaxed. And you're bringing these top of these dumbbells down to kind of like your nipple line, the bottom of your chest. Sorry, feel my chest kind of squeezing. Now we're gonna go to the chest fly. Right. This one's gonna say this one doesn't have to be too heavy. Just light enough to where you feel it. I already feel it. Bro, do this. Inner chest, do this too. You really want to come, when you come out here, as you're squeezing, you want to kind of push out. You don't want to just like come in like this. You want to push out with your hands. It's going to contract the chest even more. Push out. Push out. Push out. I 
chest is burning, that's one set. If you want to get your inner chest, that cleavage, I know a lot of you guys are trying to build up your chest, trying to build that inner chest, do that superset. All right, I guarantee you, you do that superset for like two weeks, three weeks, you're gonna see results in that inner chest. Look at this. Stevie, you put me up to this, bro, this little fake tattoo? I did. Looks like shit right now, bro. Look at this. It's a simple fix. You just gotta man up and jump in the ocean. Oh. Oh. Looks so bad. Whatever though, I'm rocking it. I'm rocking it. Uh, uh. What's going on guys? That's it. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you got something that you can put into your chest warm up next time you do chest. If you have any questions you want me to answer next video, just put them in the comments down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate every single one of you guys. Coach Malik, signing out.